Hey, what's up, guys? My name is Ben K. Today, let's talk about the functions in Python. Functions are a very important part in Python programming. Today, I will cover eight items related with the function basics. So, number one, say basic function. So, let's define a basic function. So, define my function print hello world here I define the function the function name is my fun and the purpose of the function is to print out a message hello world so the function starts with keyword df define so it ends with a colon here so the starting from the second line there need to be a uh, type space here. So, for example, in other words, so print hello world 2. If I print the print without this type space, it will get out of the scope of the, my defined function here. Say, for example, okay. So, how do I call this function? First, I define the function here. I define the function and say, my function, just like that. So let's write, let's can see that it bring out two messages, hello world and hello world two. Right, that's the number one, okay. Let's go to number two, function with argument. So sometimes I need to pass an argument, say, message i want to pass a message here so how do i do that let me turn that to item number two here so say message so here is my function that i pass the argument message to my function when I call the function, I also need to give a message here. Hello world. So let's write. As you can see that it print out hello world. So I can pass a number. Let's write. Okay. As you can see that 234.5 was print out here. Right? Okay, that's number two. Okay, number three. Function with keyword. Okay. That means, for example, for certain for some functions, for them I have multiple argument. They have three argument. Say argue one. Argue two. Argue three. So sometimes if I have multiple argument, so I want when I call the function, I need to specify the argument. Say argument one equal to hello. Argument two equal to world. My third argument equal to say Benke. Right? So let me write. As you can see, maybe I need to add something here. Uh, add a little bit. Say. Okay. And let's write it again. Okay, as you can see, the hello world Benke. So maybe I need to change a little bit for this. Uh... Okay, let me write it again. Maybe let me add a space here. Add a space. There you go. 
Hello world bank it was printed out here, right? So so very important thing is in functions, for example, I gave for example in my function my first argument called argo one, my second called argo two, my third argument called argo three. So another benefit using the keyword format is that it doesn't matter that you don't have to follow the order here for argument one, two, and three. So you can use another order say argument three, argument one, and argument two. Right. So the Python will recognize through the keyword here. If you put the argument here, they're in the first place here, it will match this hello in argument three to here, and then the first one argument here to here. So let's write it again. And you can see that it print out here correctly, right? So that's number three. Let's go number four. Function with default. Okay. Uh, say that means my argument has some default values. Say for example, Honda. Say. Toyota Ford. That's my default value for my three argument. So first, let me call my function without give any argument. By this way, it will print, it will print out the default value here. I put here. Let's run it, and you can see Honda, Toyota, and Ford. So when I pass a new argument. I can see that, see the, the printout are different, right? So maybe let me uncomment this line and then you can see it more clearly. I call the same function, but if I didn't give argument, it will go with the default ones. If I give a new argument, it will go with new argument values. Okay. As you can see here, right? Okay, that's number four, then number five. Function with return bingo. That means sometimes you need to return a single value. I will use it as an example. Say x equal to argument one, argument two, and argument three. Then I say return x. So I return the value that that based on those arguments. I get an intermediate value. Say let me change that to y. Right. So when I pull, call my function, say z equal to my function and v equal to my function, I call the same function, I print out my z. I print out v. Let's write. The first one, I return the z, return the, the z value is my uh, default argument, Honda, Toyota, Honda, Ford. Second one, I give a new argument. As you can see that the return value v is going with my given argument here, word banking, hello, right? So that means function with the return single. Okay. That's number five. Number six. Next one. Function with return more than single value. Okay. For example, say x equal to argument one. Let me let me let me command this line. Say I say x equal to argument one y equal to argument 2, z equal to argument 3. So sometimes I need to return three values or more than like two values, more than one value. I just do this way, x, y, z. So when I call the function, I do the same thing, x, y, z, print x, Y, Z. 
the same thing here A B C A B C so let's write we see here for the first one the default one is go to home not to use on the fourth the second one word bank hello so it print out correctly here right so sometimes when you to when you need to return more than one value we just use a bracket to bundle them together so then print it out when you call the function you need to give the same return format here like s y z or a b c okay that's number six number seven function return list oh okay say you want to return the list so i define this called x and my x dot uh, append one say x dot uh, x dot append x dot append okay return x here i pass three arguments i i add them to the list called x i return this list so this is my x this is my a this is my x print this is my a print let's write As you can see here, the first one goes by my, my default argument value Honda Toyota 4. They, they put it into a list. Similarly for the second one with my given argument. So that's the function with the return list. The next one is the function with the return dictionary. Okay, I will do the same thing. Say I have dictionary. Say x say one equal to argument one two then x third element equal to my argument three i might return my x here and the same thing so let's write. So here I turn x from list to dictionary. Okay, there you go. As you can see that the first line print out the result with the default argument on the Toyota Ford. The key value is a one, two, and a three. Similarly for the second one with my given argument. Okay, thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video.